This conference will now be recorded. Hello and welcome to the first of the VLOG series on data science by the DexLab Analytics. Uh, my name is Nish and I'm a senior consultant and a data scientist. And today we will be talking about big data and the type of analysis which we can do on big data. So let's get started. So what is big data? Well, to answer this question, you're going to have to, uh, first, I would like to clear some misconceptions about it. It's widely believed right now that big data is a form of a technology in itself, which is not wrong. Big data is essentially when data comes with certain characteristics. These characteristics could be one of the five Ws of big data, which are velocity, veracity, volume, variety, and value. So essentially, a data will become big data when it has two or more of these components. So now the question arises that when you have big data, what you do with it to harness its true potential? But the answer to this lies in the types of analysis, basically, which you can do on your big data. These analyses include descriptive analysis, predictive analysis, and prescriptive analysis. So let's move on to the first one. What is descriptive analysis? Well, essentially, descriptive analytics is the analysis of past or the historical data in order to understand the trends and evaluate how metrics work over time. By far, this is the easiest way of analyzing data as it requires very minimal to no coding experience whatsoever. At present, there are many tools available for doing this in the market, such as ClickView, Google Analytics, and Tableau. So the way that these tools work here is that they analyze the data and showcase them in a form that can be understood by human beings. Descriptive analytics is limited into representing data in the tabular and graphical form. So this essentially is one of the key limitations of descriptive. Types of descriptive analytics include cash flow analysis, sales and revenue reports, and performance analysis, and so forth. So that was all about descriptives. Now let's move on to the next type, which is predictive analytics. Predictive analytics essentially goes a step ahead of descriptives in the sense that while descriptives is only limited to past data, predictive analytics tries to predict future trends. So it is crucial to remember that predictive analysis is only forecasting the future and not actually predicting it with 100% accuracy. This is essentially to say that um, there is a very good chance of something happening, but you will never claim that. It will for sure happen for certain. It can also include predicting the values of missing fields in a data set and the probable impact of data changes on future trends. Some of the most common forms of predictive analytics include sentiment analysis and credit score ratings. Sentiment analysis is basically the study of the text in order to estimate the tendency of emotions which were tried to be conveyed through them. The, the aim is to measure whether the text is indicating a positive, negative or neutral sentiment. Credit score analysis, on the other hand, is a study of past financial behavior and income growth of the individual along with the economic trends to predict the likelihood of that person being able to pay back their debt. Both of these analyses do not guarantee 100% accuracy. So once we have done that, we then move on to the final type of analysis, which is the prescriptive analysis. Prescriptive analytics is relatively a new field in data science. 
in the sense that it goes a step further than both descriptives and predictive analytics. Predictive analytics showcases viable solution to a problem and the impact of considering a solution on future trends. It is considered the aim of any data analysis project. The prescriptive analysis is still an evolving technique and there are limited applications for it in business. A very good example of prescriptive analytics would be the autonomous cars which are being designed by Google. So these cars are self-driving in the sense that they understand their environment and make decisions on their own. So this was the session on types of analysis which are available on big data. I really hope that you like this session. If you did, then please leave a comment below and do subscribe to our channel to never miss an update on big data analytics and data science. Also, if you have any queries or any suggestion about, then please leave them uh, a comment below. Um, and I'll speak to you soon uh, next time. Bye for now.